Well, this is my neighborhood. And this is the poor cargo trailer, just waiting to go. Well, as you just saw, we're not going camping here in Montana anytime soon. But we sure think about it a lot, and spring is almost here. This is the first of March. So we wanted to talk about baking while we're camping. And my wife and I have actually lived off grid uh, quite a lot during our life, uh, whether it be on a sailboat or, or out at our property. We uh, raise our kids on a sailboat. We may show some pictures of that, I don't know. But anyhow, what we learned to do was to cook on top of the stovetop. Now usually when you think of cooking in camp, you think of a Dutch oven like this. And we've done a bunch of baking in this, but this uh, generally, uh, you know, you use it on a fire. And for much of last summer, we had a burn ban here out in the west, and we couldn't have campfires. I don't remember having a single campfire last summer, except out of our property we did very carefully. But when we were traveling, there was no fires. So I want to show you how to do baking on a single burner stove using a pan. And we're going to do this for real. We're not going to use the, old, the kitchen range here. That would be too easy. No, we're going to get out the camp stove and do it right. My wife is a fantastic cook and she bakes some amazing things. But uh, we're going to show you how to do that when you're out on the road. Okay, I think I got all the ingredients here for a uh, one layer eight inch cake. There's uh, a cup of flour, all purpose flour. There's a uh, five eighths of a cup sugar, a baking powder, half a tablespoon, and a half teaspoon of salt, fourth of a cup of butter, gotta have butter, and one egg, vanilla, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of milk. And First, we start out by mixing the dry ingredients in this mixing bowl. About, um, well, if you had a zzz electric mixer, it would be three or four minutes. I just do it till it looks right. Alrighty, so got the flour in there, sugar, salt, baking powder. Sure, they're all well mixed. Now we add the softened butter. And the milk. I use all-purpose flour, which almost everybody always has. Um, use organic sugar, but you can use white sugar. Okay, that looks mixed up enough. Add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I think 
think we're ready to put it in the pan. Okay, I just lit it. It's up on high and I'm going to turn it down low. And then put the uh, pan on. This is what I set in the pan. In, in that oven part to keep the cake off the bottom of the uh, pot. And in this instance, you could use anything. You can use some kind of spacer. An upside down pie plate works well. Balled you can up, even um, pieces of foil. Yeah, balled up pieces of foil. And if any of you folks own a pressure cooker, they usually come with something to keep things off the bottom, a trivet of any sort, a steamer, stainless steel steamer works too. I like this one because I can hold it like this and just set it down in. So you have to keep monitoring the burner because these burners, they, you can turn them down low but after a while they start creeping back up. So keep monitoring it, keep it as low as you can. The lower the better because it's better to take longer than to have a burnt cake. Okay, it's been about a half hour, 35 minutes, something like that, and the cake is done. And it took about the same amount of time as if I did it in the um, house oven. And there she is. I have to uh, frost it. And then Well, the rest of this video is just the icing on the cake. Okay, I'll melt some butter. And I'm going to add some cocoa powder. Ooh, a little chocolate. Then, about, what is this? Cup and a half of powdered sugar. Oh, you alternate the powdered sugar with about half of a third of a cup of milk. About a half a teaspoon of good old vanilla. This is just the uh, Hershey's chocolate frosting on the back of the Hershey's cocoa powder container. But this is half of the recipe. Because we only need half a cake. Yeah. Okay, how's that look? Mm. Yep, that looks good. Well, the whole point of this video was just to show you that you can bake on top of a little single burner camp stove. So wherever you go, you can have fun baking things. Now, we did a cake today, but that was just to 
prove that it can be done, and we've done this many times actually. But don't forget you can bake bread, all kinds of things. Anything you can do in an oven, you can do on a camp stove. Now I know that you can buy camp ovens that sit on top of a stove. They're usually pretty big. You can get propane camp ovens and everything, but my channel is about keeping things simple. And this is as simple as it gets, and it works just fine. Now the propane bottles, you saw us using those. We don't, we don't uh, buy expensive propane bottles. We refill those off of our 20 pound cylinder. You can buy the adapter at Walmart to refill these propane cylinders. And there's a lot of YouTube videos on exactly how to do that. It's pretty easy. So I usually keep eight or 10 of them on hand and then I just refill them all at once. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. Be sure to hit like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you click on that little notification bell down in the lower right hand corner, you'll be notified when we come up with another video. Thanks a lot and we'll see you around. Oh, it looks wonderful. Okay, it dawned upon us that everybody probably want to know if this cake is burned on the bottom. You can see we've already ate half of it, but Linda's going to flip a piece over here so you can see that it is not burned on the bottom at all. There you go. Thanks for watching.